Well, it says state, but I'm going to explain a little bit too. So these are the ones that you need to know specifically mentioned in the beloved IB syllabus. They are all transition metals. And let me just move these little squares down. Alrighty, so I'm going to take them one by one and give you the equation to which they or their compound is a catalyst. Starting with vanadium, that is for the contact process. Remember that you had to learn that for equilibrium. And it's V2O5, vanadium 5 oxide. And the next one is manganese dioxide. That's used to turn hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. So that's MnO2, manganese dioxide, but manganese 4 oxide is probably a better name for you to use. If you've got ginger hair, it will turn it blonde. It's also used as rocket fuel. Next up is the Zahaba process. Just balance that out. To make ammonia, you need an iron catalyst. Why would you want to make ammonia? Ammonia is a toilet cleaner, isn't it? Well, toilet cleaner, yes. But it's also very good at a fertilizer. It adds nitrogen to the soil and huge explosions, if you know what you're doing, with ammonia as a precursor. If you have an alkene, you can hydrogenate it to make an alkane. And for that, you're going to need a catalyst. And that catalyst would be nickel. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you have a long chain alkene, that's oil. And if you hydrogenate it, you'd make it into a saturated fat such as margarine, which is a solid. Let me just draw this little car. Actually, Eric drew this car. Thanks, Eric. And notice the catalytic converter. Well, that has platinum and palladium in it. That's used to clean the exhaust gases. If one day you notice your car seems a little bit more powerful and noisy and giving out strange coloured fumes, someone's stolen your catalytic converter and sold the platinum from it. 